What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, now, by now you should know who this is. The intro alone should have gave you a few hints you should pick up on. So let me talk to you schmucks for a minute. Today we're going to talk about some real life stuff. We're going to talk about how a lot of you don't want anything out of life. Yes, I've said it. Yes, I made that statement. A lot of you don't want anything out of life except to blame the next man or woman. In some cases, child. Now, let me proceed to go in. Now, a lot of you folks out there there's a lot of hard workers. There's more hard workers than there are non-hard workers. If you can, non-hard workers, you know what I mean? People who don't work hard. I should have said it that way, but I didn't. So let's go in. But a lot of people, and you'll see this a lot, especially as they get older too. A lot of people will waste their twenties. Will really waste their teens. How they get out of school. Waste their 20s, waste their 30s, waste their 40s, maybe even up to 50s. But somewhere around the late 40s, mid 40s is when they done. It's just now they turn into some bitter, like, I hate the world. When you look at their world, there's a lot of things that they could have done better. And maybe, you know, they wouldn't be in the shape that they're in. Now, people are going to say, who am I to judge this and that and... Mm -hmm. People who usually tell you that, look at their life. Those are fuck-ups. Those are the people who be begging for you, like, these are the type of people that right now, I'm making this video during tax season, they're, they're, they just hit Powerball. But let them see you around the holidays when they got their hat in their hand and they got you a, 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 the, tw the, tw the 12 million hard luck story of their life. But these people don't like it when you succeed because it just reminds them of what they could have done. And there, there's to me, look, like, like I said, I said this before, I'm going to say it again. Success is what you perceive in your own mind to be. Some, of you, some people are just happy waking up in the morning, and I commend that. Some people want more than that. Some people want... <coughs> Excuse me, well, there's not less. you got to wake up in the morning. If you don't, you're dead. But a lot of people, <coughs> excuse me, they don't want to do anything. They want to hope that you'll do it for them. Let me give you some examples. There's people who I know. Like, since I've done this internet thing here, the interwebs, I developed a certain niche for myself, and I developed a certain... I was stabbed to myself pretty good. Let me explain. I'm in on chats and Twitter, Google Talk, and I mean chats. I mean with established folks. I don't mean with, like, your cousin, your cousin Bob and Aunt Selma and your brother Jerome talking about, you know, look at my YouTube video. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is... I was, I've been in talks with like people who do this for a living. I have been asked. I've been blessed. They've asked me to come talk in these chats. And I have talked. And I've, and I've gave solutions to a lot of people. It's to the point now, people were saying, I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I mean like I didn't know, but like I, I wasn't. I wasn't taken seriously at first, but like I tell you people, I stayed on the three C's. I was clear, I was concise, and I had, and I had you know, consistency. I might have a fourth C here. I had credibility. Because what you saw when what I was talking about matched up in real life. The only time it didn't match up in real life is if somebody was nuts. So you have to be when I was talking. You have to be you have to be purely out of your mind not to agree with what I was saying. But I've been I've been blessed. Like I said, I've been blessed to have these little talks where I, I had a 
I had a Google talk. We had one, and if you want, I mean, and I wish I could do it with a lot of other people, but I had a Google talk. What was this, Saturday? Well, it was on a Saturday. No, it was, this was on a Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. And what we talked about was, we talked about social media and the many facets of social media and SEO. And I mean, it, 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 I wasn't pertaining to just black social media. I was pertaining to worldwide. Like, the people who sponsored this were a Russian group. And so they were like, they what they did, like I said, they sent me a, they sent me a thing through Twitter, and would you talk about, like, you, would you join us for the chat? And I, like, I, at first I was like, I didn't catch on to it at first, and then they, then I saw what they were talking about, like, they sent me a, a, a longer email. I said, yeah, why not? To me, it, it looks good for, it's two, two, two things happen both ways, each side. Number one, they're getting another side where they can help their business and how they can promote and how they can market to got people like me. And what I'm doing is my brand is showing them, hey, this guy that wears sunglasses and do rags and knit caps and scullies, he under all that he doesn't he knows what he's talking about. So it was a double edged sword, which is a good thing this time. And like I said, I have I I I what I've done I even went on my Instagram, and I, and I apologize because I was a little too late for this. I did it like within 20 minutes of the chat, so I can understand people not being there on a Tuesday. People work. A lot of you don't work, but I'm saying that just to give you an excuse. But uh, people work. But like I said, if, if, we had, if you had more of these, I mean, you can spend your time on Facebook doing stupid shit. But you can't spend your time on the internet figuring out how to get your get your message out to the people. Which you have to do. You just think like here's a here's a lot, especially I'm gonna use women as an example. And I'm not picking on women, but this is just pure fact. A lot of women think if they got a pretty face, oh, I'll be a model just lickly split. You know, I look good. I, I'm getting all these likes on Facebook. I'm getting all these, you know. Hearts on Instagram, oh, I'm going to tear the game up. Then when they get into the game, it's like, what else do you got? What talent do you got? And then they're, like, disappointed, and they hate them. They're like, well, well, F you guys, you didn't know. And they do the, 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 the whole little, it's somebody else's fault. When it's just more than a pretty face to be a model. You got to do, you got to do your work. A lot of you people will not do your research. And that's where I'm finding out. The difference between the successful people on the internet and the people who, how, how should I say this, who are not so successful. Some is the luck of the draw, but most of the time it's people who are willing to do their research, willing to put the work behind their facts, willing to show you this. Now some people will say, well who are you or who am I? I get this all the time, especially from ignorant people on Facebook. Well who are you to say that this, that, and the fifth? Look. My videos have been on credible websites. My videos have been on been used by credible organizations. I have a, a Planned Parenthood video. And I've been talking about Planned Parenthood. And an organization used my website as I was making the you know the assumption to them and to everybody else, which is coming out to be true. I was making an assumption that. Uh, my 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 uh, hypothesis is: if you're a black person that uses Planned Parenthood, you commit you you are committing genocide. And I laid out I laid everything out for people. I, I explained how the Margaret Sanger met with the Klan, and this is this is when the Klan was like in their heyday. This wasn't when the Klan like right now is a bunch of toothless dudes smoking meth. This is back when the Klan was in their heyday with Planned Parenthood. And I was breaking all down how I was trying to, you know, the poor, they get rid of the minorities and the poor. And, I, and it's, it's no coincidence that most of these Planned Parenthoods are in terrible neighborhoods or in low-income neighborhoods. And then, like, if you research it, you can't deny what I'm giving you. I only talk with what I know. That's what, that's what another thing, if you notice people that are successful on the Internet, they don't go beyond the scope of what they know. 
they're not going to look same same like I said I made a video about when I made that video about Kabaddi in uh, Syria I'm not going to talk about what's going on in the suburbs of Kabaddi even though Kabaddi is like 45,000 people in Syria I don't know what's going on in the suburbs I can assume that they're all still doing the same thing as what's going on in Kabaddi because they're fighting but I'm not going to be on the scope of getting that far in, to, to, if I got that far in depth to see the, how the suburbs, how ISIS is moving. Well, I knew they were moving around in Turkey. There's no denying that they were moving around in Turkey without Turkish help. But that's another topic for another day. Today I'm talking about people who are not successful, who feel that they're not successful. And this is the key here. They feel they're not successful. They feel that they're losers. They feel they haven't done anything. So they want to dump on you. And there's been people like myself and others who are willing to help. But they don't want your help. Oh, I can do this by myself. I don't need you. A few cuss words added. But it all boils down to just do your own research and do your work. A lot of people don't want to do the work. And that's what separates winners and losers. Winners are consistently doing the work it takes to, to win. And losers, you know, like I said, everybody's double guessing Pete Carroll now, aren't they? I'm just saying. So, a lot of you can still, a lot of people still have chance. Like a lot of you people have stories to tell. Like I said, that's to me, that's the the human interest as far as I'm getting out of it. You guys have stories to tell, even if you even if you live the kind of messed up life, you have a story to tell where you could help others. It's a matter of, of do you want to do that? That's all it is. Now, if you don't want to do it. Don't get in the way of the people that are helping. If you want to help, ask how to do it. And, you know, I, I have no problem where I can find out and I have no problem helping out. But if you're going to be a miserable molly, if you're going to be moping around, blaming everybody for your for your life, do it, but just leave me out of it. Leave everybody else out of it because nobody, nobody's living on a bed of roses right now. We all have to work for ours. Some of y'all don't win, and some of y'all are getting government help, so what, what are you bitching about? All right, I'm out of here. Peace.